sorry about that everybody. My phone's telling me I can't go sideways while we're live, but I'm just going to ignore it anyway. <clears throat> I've just come on. I'd like to do a thank you, shout out to Doug and Nikki from Joe's Juice. I'd like to say a thank you for the t-shirt and the cap. A bit banned, but it's round my finger. A bit banned, but it's round my tank, keeping it nice and safe. I've also come on to do a review for a new flavour that has just come out on the Joe's Juice flavour range. This is a pre-made range. I usually use the concentrate to make my own, but I've had to try this. So I've gone out and I've got myself a pre-made batch. It's the Bubble Slush flavour. I haven't tried it yet. I've got Blue Slush in here at the minute. The Blue Slush. There's a bit of a breeze in here. I can't pop my rings in a minute. Excuse me. Blue slush is amazing. I've got my own little batch I've mixed up here with blue slush, the butterscotch custard and the dragon slush all mixed together in one bottle. That's quite a nice concoction. I've been blasting that on my Asmodus Lustro with my Blue Poo Moon RDA. This is a Vaptio Paragon C2. Right, I'm going to do a new flavour review, so I'm going to need to take my wicks and everything out of here. So I can try this new flavour out. That's me, Autofo Toolkit, everybody. And I'd also like to do a shout out for Joe's Juice and Cloud 57. Beautiful cap from Cloud 57 as well, bless them. And the Joe's Juice Vape Cloth. That's very nice indeed, I do like that. Thank you very much, Nick and Doug here from, well, Nick and Doug from Joe's Juice. Absolutely banging. <coughs> my weeks where I've been vaping on my mixed up concoction of all of them. I have got separate batches as well and I've also done batches where I've mixed them together to see what other kind of flavour I do and I mixed a little bit up with a coffee vape that I got given while I was in Nottingham City Centre on Market Street from a PC garage shop that's opened up. That tastes quite nice, it's got an aftertaste of the coffee and when you first breathe it in it's got like a candy kind of taste, like a butterscotch with a sort of a blue slush sort of hint. But the aftertaste when you breathe it out is just pure coffee. Oh, I do like coffee, everybody. Alright, so you're going to see me pulling my wicks and everything. Uh, so, I need me bendy tweezers. <sighs> my Cotton King cotton, everybody, for my wicks. It's got to be Cotton King. I've tried the, what's it's cotton bacon. I didn't quite get on with that myself. It, to me, it had a bit of a weird, fluffy kind of, I don't know quite how to describe it, weird feeling in my mouth. It didn't leave a horrible taste or nothing like that. It just left a weird feeling in my mouth. So I didn't really get out of the way of my logo. I want my logo there so everyone can see that bad boy. I want everyone to know Joe's Juice is the one I'm vaping, saving my lungs from all that cancer stick shit that came with cigarettes and the tobacco and everything. Just pull that little bit of wick out of the middle here. I always like to prod a little bit in between the coils just to give it extra to soak into. Now, these are quite damp at the minute. I could vape it until it's dry. Sorry about the camera's sort of at a weird angle, everybody. I'm sort of leaning on a chest of drawers at the minute because my table's in use my little man's decorating his bedroom blessing so my table's upstairs being stood on while my little man's decorating his bedroom <coughs> so i'm using a set of drawers why he couldn't have stood on the set of drawers i don't know 
Because the table just seemed more sturdy. Cut them out of there. So I don't pull on my coils or nothing. I don't want to deform the shape of my coils. So I trim off them bits. And get a slide that out like that. Wipe off that little bit of moisture that came off there. I'm glad this is like a rainbow colour because I use multicoloured juices, reds, blues, yellows, and stuff, so it's not going to be stains all over it. It probably will with the writing, but that smells nice already. I'm glad I got this. It saves me using my t-shirt. Alright. Yeah, that's all nice and dry in there. I think I'll need about that much. So yeah. So I pulled off about a five mil fat strip. About three mil diameter on the coil. I'm just going to roll the whole thing just to take off the fluffy edge. It's like flattening my hand, sort of thing like that. Let me chop that in half. It doesn't have to be perfectly level because you're going to trim it once you put your wicks in. Oh, right. uh, Stuart Griffin's matey! Big love to you, dude. Puff the magic dragon. No, I'm gonna be puffing bubble slush, dude. Vape juice the magic dragon. No nicotine or anything in it. I'm actually nicotine free now. So it's took me two months to wean myself off of nicotine. I feel much better for it as well. So it's not tight on the coil or anything like that. It's in there nice and fluffy. You can go back and forth without it tugging on the coil. Or anything like that, because you don't want it tight, so that way it wicks nicely. Okay. Oh, a bit more. So it's a new flavour I'm using, everyone. I'll let you know what I think of it in a minute. So you pull that through. So you get it nice and level like that. Flush the shit out of that. So it wicks nicely. Take off all that loose crap. And that loose stuff, I don't throw it away. That's the little bit I prod in between my coils in a minute. So I'll put that just here. Measure that with the side of the RDA. So it's level with the O rings and the bottom of the deck. So it all fits nicely into the well. You don't want to use too much wick. Get that one nice like that. Lift it up, fold it over, tuck it back on and in on itself. So it sort of goes up, pushes back in on itself and then tucks in like that and push it down as you're tucking it in. That's where these tweezers are sweet because I've got a deepish well, it's like a step inside it. I can come on the inside of it like that, come behind it. And push it down into there beautifully and that lets you know you got it all so it's got space to soak up and bomb disposal should be on the way uh, so all right i'll show them a couple of things or two and they probably show me a couple of things or two while they're at it as well number six low door close That bad boy in there like that. You 
in a bit. Drop you in outside. Drop you in outside. <coughs> Make sure you space for your air holes and everything on your coils. It's so therapeutic. And keeps my fingers occupied so I'm not trying to roll a cigarette as well. It's Bonus all around there. Yeah. Got good juices, bit of keeping me off of it, but it tastes better than that crappy tobacco crap. Oh, it's all right, nice and tucked in there. I love these needle nose tweezers, by the way, through the proper fine and the proper get in there. I could have got the Coil Master tool kit, but it was just too damn expensive. This is perfect for everything I need to do. Go juice everybody. Uh, so it's all nice and tidy, all the way around, all tucked in. And that little bit that I nibbled off that I said you don't want to get rid of, you want to keep in everything, that's just here. I'll roll it into a little sausage. Put it on top of the coils. And and they took it in between them. Not so it's touching the coils, but just like flat on the bottom, so it's just something a little bit to wick into, to bring it up and just sort of hover just underneath the coils, sort of thing. But on the bottom, but not squashed down too far, so it looks like that. That's how I like to wick my hooks in anyway. They're all nice and tucked in. Right, I haven't tried this one yet. I do like the slushes and I also like the custards. Right, it would help if I push it down. Oh my god, that smells nice. This top's got a black top on it. Bottle, but I bought myself to put my mixes in and everything. It's got a little see through top. You can pop this middle bit out so you can fill up the bottle, or you can take the whole thing off and fill it up. God damn, that tastes so nice, man. That's both the slushes and the butterscotch in that. I will have to make up another batch with the blue slush, the dragon slush, and put a little bit of this in there with it as well, so I can see what this is like. Alright, take off my top, can't pull it on. Line up my airflow before I mess about. I'll dribble the crap out of this. Ooh, it's another blue one. Yeah, I do like the blue ones. They look nice when it soaks in, it really does look nice. And I've only put the side bits on so that way when I flood it, it doesn't go all over the mod or all over the table. Well, drawers, should I say. And go all over the coils. I'll just soak into the coil. That's what I mean, man. This is just so therapeutic, man. And the smell that's coming off of this, wow. It smells just like bubblegum. Like what kind of bubblegum is that? Oh. It's like a hubba bubba. Hubba bubby. Hubba bubba. Hubba la la. A hubba bubba kind of smell. Oh, there's like something else mixed in with that kind of thing. I can't quite put my nose on that. It's definitely got like a hubba bubba smell to it. And there's something else that's in there with it. I just can't put my finger on. Oh, that's nice. Let's squirt the hell out of that in the middle of there. And then you pre-dry it like that. So you can see it at the level of the coils. And it's sinking in. That's soaked into all of it. That looked wicked on there. I don't know if the camera caught that, but I could see that. Where that soaks into that. Oh.
for yourself. I'll follow you, you fuck. No chemicals or anything harmful in that. It's just vegetable glycerin, which is okay for the human body. Propylene glycol, that's also okay for the human body and everything because you use it in inhalers and stuff, so it's got to be alright for the human body. And then just sweeteners and flavouring, and you use that in cooking industries and stuff, so that's also okay for the human body. There's no nicotine or anything in it, it is compatible with just nicot. So if I wanted to put nicotine in it, I can do, and it won't affect the flavour or anything like that, but that's what I mean. I'm down to nicotine free now, I don't need to worry about it. Soaking in nice, that oh my gosh. Pure drown that cotton, pure drown the shit out of it. I don't want to see one dry bit, and there isn't. Look how juicy that is. Glistening. And that's how I like to keep it nice and moist. You know what I'm saying? <sighs> Joe's juice keeps it juicy. Pop on the top cap. Power it on. I'm at 75 watts, everybody. My camera's not focusing. 75 watts, hitting out at 1.3 ohms. Put it onto a hard hit. I don't want a soft hit. I don't want a normal hit. I want a hard hit. So I'm on hard, kicking out at 75 watts. Wow. Right. Now I can taste it instead of just smelling it. Oh my god. Oh my god. That's <coughs> <coughs> a bit warm. That's beautiful. And no, it's not just making me cough. I've got a bit of a cough since I've quit smoking because my body's getting rid of all this shit that was in my lungs. So it's not the vapour making me cough, everybody. Brett Simpson, big love to you as well, mate. I can't make out who that other picture is, but big love to whoever's watching. So that's Bubble Slush. But uh, the Joe's juices, everybody. I got a feeling I'll be getting more of this. Joe's juice, is there anything you can't think of? Oh. My God. No, you don't fall off. Down the shit out of that again. Now, it probably would get a couple more hits off of it if I turn my wattage down a bit. But this is my mod I use for popping tricks and things. So, I want it on a little bit higher than I normally have it. If I wasn't popping tricks, because I want it to give me a flat cloud. And the best thing, without it having nicotine in it, it doesn't rip your throat to bits either. It's all nice and smooth. Joe's juice, a 10 out of 10 for the bubble slush, mate. In fact, I'm going to take a bit of that bubble slush. I'm going to mix it in with my blue slush, my dragon slush, and my butterscotch custard with a hint of coffee. Let's put a bit of this in there as well. And you can see when you put the new stuff in, 
it always sinks straight down to the bottom. Like that. So all the blue is at the bottom. I'll probably put about six mils in there. Don't want to put loads in it because I'm going to try and keep as much of that as I can. As it is, that is amazing. I'm going to change my wicks in a minute and I'm going to put some of this on and let you know what I think. I was going to hit it until I finish that bit off. I feel like a little chemist sometimes. Free spins, it just both ways, it just free spins. My one, it doesn't do that, it locks both ways. You have to push down and then twist it. Same thing with that, you have to push down and twist, but my one locks into place. I like that though, I do like that. I'll leave these again in a sec. Get a bit warm, and the flavour is starting to wear off as well. So I know my wicks are drying out. Ooh. I could have like filled up my wells and stuff, but I'm gonna try this as well, and then I'm gonna change it and put back onto this because I'm gonna finish this off. Obviously, I won't be able to do that in the night, but 50 mil would probably last me probably about three and a half days to four days, depending on if I'm like, vaping heavy or not. Chris Hughes, big dude, big love, matey. Check it out, Joe's Juice, man. Hey, check it out. Got it on my finger, got it on my vape, got it on my head, got it on. Yeah, boy. I got the flavors too, son. Big love to Chris Hughes, everybody. This is also on YouTube as well. So big love everybody on Facebook and big love everybody on YouTube at the same time. So I'm live on two platforms at the same time. I've got my little tablet just to the side. Well, touch, should I say, iPod touch. And then I got my phone. It was like, yeah, man. That was funny. I've noticed that when you're vaping, it gives you a dry mouth. I don't know why it gives you a dry mouth, but it gives you a dry mouth. Cheers, dude. What's the crack? Uh, I'm vaping, man. I've quit smoking. I haven't smoked a ciggy now since the 1st of November. I was using stuff called Flavor from Morrison's. It was shit. It left a horrible aftertaste and everything. I almost went back to smoking. Discovered Joe's Juice and... I haven't touched a ciggy since. Then you like my comments. Like, yeah, man, save my lungs, Joe Juice. Big love, man. Save my lungs. Not yet. Oh, yeah. I've noticed since I've stopped smoking, though, I can breathe better. I can chase my doggy about when we're playing and everything. I can run a lot further and stuff, which is sweet. The only downside. I've noticed to not smoking, I'm eating more. I'm starting to get a bit of a, I'm starting to get a bit of a tummy on there. What, oh yeah. <laughs> I'm, I'm a skinny fucker, but I'm starting to get a bit of a pot belly, man. And that's because I'm eating more because my smoking was dulling my appetite, and now I'm not smoking, I've got my appetite back. And that's since the first of November. No, I still smoke ganja, but it's pure now. I stick it in a little bong. So I'm smoking pure ganja, so I'm not mixing it with any tobacco or anything like that. I'll still smoke weed. Nothing will stop me from smoking weed. But I just don't put it with tobacco anymore. I've got a little travel bomb that's about that big. It goes in my fishing bag and everything when I take it with me. I go all over the place with it. <gasps> that was like fucking vaping a t-shirt. 
Oh. Excuse me, everybody. That ripped my throat to bits. Them wicks are dry. Oh. oh my god. I don't recommend doing that, everybody. Fuck fella, I'm like that will fuck it over like a taste of like shit. Don't dry wick, everybody. It hurts. Oh top and top. It's triple now, so I might don't get your on me. I'll take these wicks out so I can put some new ones in it. Do this all day, swap my wigs and change flavors and stuff. I like it. I like it a lot. I can't wait until I'm back on the bank as well because I'm going to be pushing smoke rings and trying to make them drift across the lake as far as I can. That V God tutorials, everybody. Yeah, man. Ouch, you son of a bitch. Don't catch a button. By you touching a coil. I just scolded my fingertips. That hurt a considerable amount. <laughs> I got coil prints burning on my fingertip. <laughs> All right, yeah. It's a good thing I've registered my phone with both hands. Because uh, I won't be able to use that fingerprint for a while. I just burnt my fingerprint. That hurt a lot as well. Nothing better than a dry hit. That hurt, dude. <laughs> I don't recommend doing a dry hit, everybody. Oh. Let's move that to the side a minute. I've taken up the camera. Cheers, juice, everybody. I'm going to be trying the concoction of everything in a minute. Check it out, it's gone black. That's because it's got two different slushes in it, a custard, a tiny hint of coffee, and a third slush, which is the bubble slush on top. So, I don't know what it's going to taste like now. Make sure it needs to give a nice... Yeah, buddy. I'll stand that here. Yeah. Wick. Wick. Cotton King doing it again. Small I love this stuff. This is where my money keeps disappearing to vaping. It's supposed to be cheaper than smoking. Well, that all depends on how much you actually vape. Me, I go through quite a bit of liquids once I've got going on it. Especially if I like the taste, that's a bit fat, that. I'll take some more off of it. I won't even fit through my coil. You never flow them fluffy bits, I always keep all the fluffy bits. Oh, look how easy that slid in there, look. That's alright, it's locked. Fluff that back out. A bit off. I'll take a bit off of the other as well then. And the more you wick it, the more you used to you getting how wide you need your little strips that come off. 
because when I first did it, I used to do them way too thick and used to get dry hitted quite a lot because it didn't wick up properly because it was just too much cotton in there and it didn't soak up in time. Look how easy that went in there, look. Oh. I don't worry about going through wicks or anything like that because I've got millions of cotton. Because all these bits sort of mangle back together so you can always use the little off cuts and never throw them away. That's just a waste of cotton. Same thing, come underneath them, up, fold, like, so you sort of fold it back on itself like that and tuck it in. Oh, tasty. All the way to the bottom of the well. Same on that one. All the way into the bottom of the well. Tuck in the side, tuck in the side. Same on the other side. It's like a porn star's titty, you just can't stop sucking on it. Especially when the taste is good. Oh, God damn. Same thing, little sausage as I do on top of your coil. Just gently tuck it in. Smoothing that back off again. And I'm ready to go with the other stuff. So it don't dribble down my mud all over the place. Like it did do. And this is a mix of everything I've got my hands on. And I can tell you who's still watching Paul Grange, big love dude. And I haven't got to drip it on this bit, so I'm just going to tip the fucker in. Drown the shit out of that. And that's how you do it, son. Sorry, you can see off my head, everybody. It's just the way my camera's set up. Drown the shit out of that. Woohoo! Oh yeah, that definitely did it. Gently just get this bit instead of flooding it. Gently, 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 gently do it. Yeah. Just give it across the top. <laughs> No control over it when the hole's that big. So I've got more than enough in there. I'm still going to have a tiny bit more on that side. It's just going to look greedy. Whoa, like that. More, a bit more. 
So I've got deep wells on here, so I do want to make sure I have got plenty in there. If any comes out of your air hole like that, you just dab that side. You know, they come out the one side as well. Just stick your tap on a second. Clear your air holes. Ooh. Blast that now. Well, you can't taste the blue slush in it anymore. You can still taste the very faint hint of the dragon slush, which is like the cherry coming through. But the first thing you notice, it's got to be the butterscotch custard. That's just the creaminess straight away. That's my favourite flavour out of every one of them I've tried up to yet. The butterscotch custard. The bubble slush is second. If I taste the coffee in it, then I'll leave up. You can get the bubble slush you're breathing out, but it's like a creamy bubble slush. Oh, yeah, I like it a lot. Yes. I don't even know what to call that. That's the blue slush, dragon slush and blue scotch. That's my mix them all together with everything I get my hands on bowl. steeping since probably about a week ago <coughs> that's dragon slush plain dragon slush I made at the same time as I got that because I got them both on the same day and that's Joe's juice as well but they're just my own bottles so that's why there's no labels on them <coughs> same as these little bottles I've had that butterscotch custard you can see the difference the colours that's been steeping since the 14th, no, correction, the 10th of November, that has. And then a blue slush. The reason it's gone cloudy is I put CBD in with it. So it's a blue slush CBD. Nice. And it does make you feel relaxed as well. And then I've got a little bottle of the dragon slush, which I've kept separate. And here's a little plain bottle of the coffee. So that's just plain coffee in that one. And... I'm keeping them original. I'm going to be leaving that one steeping until I do my C H in 2020. So I'll be having that at C H in 2020 and I'll bring all my little selection with it because I've still got a couple more to stick in at the side. So I'll have six little flavours with me when I come along. As well as um, I will have another bottle of that for definitely. And then a bottle of my stuff where I can take it and then my mixed up stuff so if anybody needs to have any juices or anything while I'm out and about I've got loads of juice I can always give you a top if you need one I'll put these two out of the way because that's still steeping I wasn't supposed to get no more juices or anything like that until I finished off my first lots of juices. <laughs> I went out today and I come back with this one. <laughs> I just can't help it. Every time I go into Cloud 57 on Trent Boulevard, I have to get something. That's what I mean. I'm a spender maniac. I just go down for money when I got it. So that's why my baby has to control me because I just go spend happy. Leah Madcock, big love, dude. Check it out, man. With just Joe, that Joe's juices keeping me healthy, man. Keeping me away from them ciggies. I'm using my Asmodus Lustre with the Voo Room sitting on the top. 
And from over mod, I've got a Vazio Paragon C2 with a Paragon tank on the top. God damn blue slush, man. Oh, it's getting wicked dry, man. I've vaping, man. I don't know what it is, but it's in there. I think it's probably the vegetable glycerin, but it gives you the dry mouth. I'm not quite sure. But I could taste things better, I could tell you that. Oh, yeah. Uh, the extra bit of weight could be from water retention with my body keeping it in. Oh, damn. All right. Oh, oh so nice, man. The only problem with this mod, it dies fast. The battery only lasts for about probably three, four hours. Well, you see now how often I'm hitting it. And it doesn't last very long at all. This baby, the Asmodeus one, it's got two batteries in it. I actually get two days use out of this. Madness, crazy. Yeah, I know you need one, bro. I'm telling you, it's the best thing I ever did was quit smoking and take up vaping. So much help for you. It's the veg makes your first day, also can make you eat. So, eat bananas. Oh, I always eat bananas, I eat fruit all the time, so I've got no problem there. I've never had no aches or pains or nothing from vaping. That's probably because I eat bananas, I don't know. But yeah, I, I eat plenty of fruit and veg. But I don't think there isn't much I don't eat, to be honest with you. Including boilies, I eat them as well. Don't eat pop-ups, they make you bum itch. I know that from personal experience, everybody. <laughs> Blame that on five-star baits, man. Jeffrey Fields and everybody. Just trying to think of a different dude's name now. But yeah, Jeffrey Fields, uh, he stands out the most because he's the one that squirted the secret agent on my nose and I was smelling it for the rest of the bloody week. Right, like, yeah. Right. I'm going to swap these wicks back over and I'm carry on blasting this for the rest of the night. Doing vape tricks, popping rings, trying to make them travel across the room, make them change shape from hoops into triangles and squares. I'm getting the angle of it bit by bit. I mean, I can make them like instead of just going straight forward, I can make them change and go off to the side or go upwards and I can make them go downwards as well. Or just when I try and make them change shape, I keep destroying them. Ah, oh, yeah. I will get the hang of it though. As you say, practice makes perfect. And I get time when I'm not working to practice, so. I will with it. Right. Then wicks are starting to get a bit warm again. Yeah, dried out a lot. All that I tipped in there and it's dry already. Nice, I love that sound. Look how dry they are. I don't know how many hits I had, so I don't know how many hits you get on it before it dries out. I've never actually paid attention to that. All I know is I drip it quite frequently, so it's not very often I do get a dry hit. I don't know how many peeps are watching because I've got two different devices going at the same time and what I can see is comments all over the place pop that bit out of the middle chop them off pop that out Just a bit of liquid in there, everybody. 
Three wicket again. So I don't have to worry about running out of whips or nothing. Seems a bit wide now, so we can take that side off a bit. Put it in there a lot. Seems a bit a little bit more. Lost a little amount of moving. Sounds like he just jumped off his table I might get the table back you'll probably be able to see me a bit better right, just gently roll it like that just to take off the fluffy edges Still trying to figure out what that aftertaste is, that bubble slush. All I can taste at the minute is the butterscotch custard. That leaves a beautiful aftertaste. And the blue slush is amazing. Just look at that, it goes back and forth all nice and fluffy. I can't really see what I'm doing, but I'm kind of going to have to do it backwards. Going from that side. Gently pull it. Like that. Oh, nice and fluffy. There's no resistance on that whatsoever, so trim that bit. Trim that bit. Keep the bit off of that side. And another reason I like RDAs and everything, the coils don't burn out as quick as bloody sub and tanks do. Because sometimes getting the coils to this is a pain in the ass. But I only use that usually when I'm out and about because dripping every two minutes is a bit awkward when you're on the move. But beautiful that just goes like, hello, which looks so pretty now. and juicy oh. oh yes I'm gonna get you all nice and wet Sorry you can't see me tucking it into the bottom of the well everybody. I haven't got a camera bit of a go on the end of this. Otherwise you just see me tucking it into like an indentation bit in the bottom. Well as they call it. Oh, a little step down inside. Oh nice and fluffy. All loose, nothing tight anywhere. All the air holes got space around them. Give you a little sausage bit. Nice 
are sort of like this bit is sort of like rests over like the inside bit of the squonk pin on the inside of the RDA so I just sort of fold it over that when I push it down so on top of the coil like so and in it goes top that side on top that side on Is it in? To look at. And people say you're supposed to lube up your O-rings and stuff. My fingers are quite moist. The inside of that's always moist, especially when I flood it. So, yep, I've got no problem with moist O-rings or anything like that. That's just moisture off my fingers while I'm in mod. Just a bit of flow. Put that away because I don't want that. You don't need me to all kit no more so I can put that away as well. And a little vape cloth to put that away in my toolkit. Smells amazing. Every time I open this, it smells good. <coughs> I'm going to put my tweezers and my scissors away. Talk it there, everybody, and all my bits and bobs, everything I need. Got spare wicks and everything. Beauty. That also goes with me all over the place as well. So, I'm now back on the plain dragon slush again. Well, not dragon slush, I keep saying dragon slush because I do like that one as well. But I'm back on the bubble slush again, everybody. lid did not want to come off then. I, I almost cried there. I was like, oh, I can't get my vein juice now. <laughs> <laughs> I'm getting it one way or another. But damn, you know, don't do that to me, son. Like you have to push down on it. Push down on it. Stop being a wimp. Push it. Then turn it. You just keep trying to break down it. If you could see what I could see. Dribble it. Dribble it on that one. And dribble it on the bottom one. And dribble it on this one. And dribble it on that one. Look at it just soaking. Oh, God. Don't know if the camera gets that. Yes, it does. Oh, look at that. Sorry, you just see me gawking half the time, you just see my mouth. Sorry, everybody, I apologize. Just how I got my camera set up, and how my other camera's probably just got my shoulder on it. I'm not paying attention to that one, because this one's in front of me, it's the main screen I'm paying attention to. So, the viewers on my YouTube screen, I apologize.
the people on Facebook probably got to see more. Let's come on this one. <laughs> Dribble it on. Unlock it. Yeah, boy. That's a wild man. Clouds for days. Oh. I must admit though. I do feel good not smoking. So if anyone else is having trouble quitting to smoke or anything like that. Try going to Cloud 57, they can point you towards various different mods and starter kits and things like that, pod systems and stuff. They can help you get off the dirty habit. There's many different brands out there, different companies, different flavours and stuff. The company that helped me was Joe's Juice. I owe it to Joe's Juice. So... That's a flavour review of that. It's got like a bit of a blueberry kind of aftertone to it. A hubba bubba, definitely whoosh, straight away. With it's like a kind of a hint of Parma Violet and blueberry. And that's just how my taste buds are playing, wouldn't it? God damn, that's so nice. So, that's the bubble slush, everyone. You should try that as well. Until my next time I see you, I'll probably be on the bank fishing, or I'll be doing another flavour review for my Joe's Juice. Big love, everybody. I'll see you soon.